Hello and welcome to my workshop. In the last video I showed you um, actually making this uh, tool or should we say um, modifying it to, to fit in the CNC router. Um, this video I'm going to uh, show you in AtCam how to create a new tool in the tooling list and uh, write a short program or get AtCam Express to write a, a new program. Incidentally, uh, uh, you'll be uh, seeing the new AppCam 2015 AppCam Express. So um, that, that might be quite interesting for so you. So what I'm going to do is show you how to write an area clearance program within AppCam You'll also Express. notice I've changed my format just a little bit because um, what I want to do is try and give you every bit of information I can to do a relatively simple job making this um, trivet or serving dish uh, out of these different types of materials and using uh, a lot of the equipment that I got here, CNC router, AtCam, Mark III. So and this is uh, one of the videos that uh, are in this group. So uh, you will be able to watch these and go and replicate what I'm doing. I hope you enjoy this group of videos. Okay, um, you'll see I've got the new uh, Dell Cam at Cam uh, dongle, which I'll just put into my computer, and uh, you'll also see that I've got um, at Cam Express 2015. There's something very important here. It will only operate on a 64-bit computer. Um, I tried to put it in my 32-bit. Um, laptop computer and it wouldn't work at all so just keep that in mind also keep in mind you need at least uh, 8 gig of RAM and I would suggest 1 terabyte of hard drive to allow this program to work um, perfectly so we'll open it and we're going to do a number of jobs here with that cam first of all this tool that we have just uh, machined and made, uh, we are going to make a new tool or put a new tool in the AtCam tooling list, which is very simple, really. If the camera will focus, <laughs> okay, so we're going to start a new job. Um, it'd be better if I knew what the measurements were. A better measure. Okay. A new job. Start a new job. So you just come over here. Can you see that? Yes. Uh, open a new job. And you say, okay, the Y is going to be uh, 850. Don't need to go any further than that. Um, let me see. By. 580 um, because the piece of um, hard material um, MDF that I've just put on there is not the full size um, of the table width wise anyway and I really only want to take the the, the center out um, half a millimeter uh, machine it down so that'll be quite sufficient so we'll okay that There it is. Now, the first job we're going to do is draw a square. So just pick a square. It'll snap to that corner. It's already on automatic snap. Snap to that corner. OK, so we'll OK that. So we come over here in this, this dialog box here. And uh, it actually gives us the numbers that I just um, said, which is uh, 580 by 850. And I don't want rounded corners and everything's a okay. And the job is in the center. Actually, I better check that. Create and get out of that. Now I can go up here, and at the moment, the start of this program is down in this bottom corner. But I actually want to start in the middle of this material there, so I can change that so now. So I'll OK that. Pick that square. 
double click on tool pass which opens up then the dialog box for the tool and I think what I'll do is right area clearance which is this one down here you can't see that at all can you okay I just brought it around the other side so you can see what I'm doing uh, area clearance um, this is also the area where I can pick a, a 3D uh, tool path, a, a drilling tool path, a V-bit ca carving tool path, or a profile tool path, tool path rather. So we want an area clearance, so we double click that. Now this is where we can pick a tool. Well, first of all, we'll give information about the start and finish. So we're going to start at the zero point, which is the top of the material. And we want to go down a maximum of, oh, 0 0.25. We want to take the least amount of material off. Uh, and if necessary, I'll run the program twice. So that's okay uh, machine safe five millimeter yeah that's okay add a tool now then I am going to move my chair over a little bit move the camera over a little bit and I'm going to zoom in just a touch so you can see exactly what I'm doing here so, tool, gr tool groups, and um, we're going to come down here to wood and plastic. Uh, rough in 2D. Ah, oh, that's in inches. We want metric tools. Here we go, metric tools. Conical engraving, wooden plastic. Here we go. So what we want to do here is I am going to pick this. No, I'm not. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to move that one. Try again. Okay. So having picked the 12 millimeter end mill, okay, because that is the only flat ended tool that we can actually choose, we're going to copy this one. So we're going to make a twin. And on this copied twin, um, which is that one, we are going to alter the settings. So we go to edit. And uh, in here we can say, okay, it's a 32 millimeter. So we're creating a new tool now in ATCAM that the closest resem resembles is a 32, end, 32 millimeter end mill. Um, so let me see, diameter is 32 mil. Um, step down mm. because the diameter increase is quite a large diameter for this uh, for a rotor so what we're going to do is a step down is we're going to say look step down is only going to be one millimeter uh, it will probably do three millimeter millimeter just fine I can alter that at any time within the dialogue of the program um, step over size, it's saying 35%, that's percent of the, the actual, the, in actual fact I'd probably leave it at that. Um, AdCam has actually automatically done that, it's actually automatically done the speed and the feed rate. Um, so a lot of this is already 
pre-written into OutCam, so you only have to give it the bare minimum information. And tool units is millimeters, and the rate of cut is millimeters per second. This is all okay, so I'm going to say this is okay. And there it is, it's created. So you can create tools within uh, AdCam Express just by filling in the uh, dialogue box or conversational box. So now we have pick, we will pick that tool and say select. And there it is in our selection tool selection dialogue box. Now at this point um, we can change these parameters to suit whatever we want. Well I'm happy with those. I'm happy with the feed rate. I mean 42 millimeters per second of feed is is getting along it's not too bad um, we might be able to actually go to 50 so we can do we can go to 50 uh, plunge rate we'll leave it 13 mil and we're going to fill a dialogue box out even even further now this is the tool clearance strategy now you can either like it is raster here it's uh, uh, selected on raster automatically that means it'll go in at X and just go back and forth back and forth and it will progress each time it'll progress 11.2 uh, millimeters forward in the Y direction um, <coughs> but uh, we want to start off in the middle and we want to do a, a box type um, strategy start in the middle and work our way out so we can see exactly what we're doing and we're going to use climb milling I just prefer to use climb milling and we're going to use um, add ramp in moves um, so that is exactly what it says that the tool will actually ramp down into the material uh, not just go bang straight down in uh, but in this case as the tool is so wide uh, we need to alter these um, these settings uh, ramp angle 10 ramp length this is the one we need to alter we need to alter that one to 50 I would say ramp length that is the way how far it will travel in the X or the Y direction whichever it's going to do um, we'll leave that one and we'll leave that one and we're going to set up the material now in other words tell out cam program little information now about the material that we're using uh, in this case look we're just going to say it's 20 mil thick it really doesn't matter to the program just so the program knows it's got material there to machine away and it's not going to go through the table so we'll okay that and really that's that's it and you just press calculate oh, there we go can't calculate for the following reasons. No vectors. Oh, silly old me. There we go. I did. That's one thing. You have to highlight the vector or the area that you want to <laughs> you want the machine. So here we go. And there it is. And it's as quick as that. It's calculated it as quick as that. So now all I've got to do is. Um, save that to my stick well what we'll do first actually is I'll show you what is going to happen um, in the simulation so here we go simulate boom and there it is and actually by I can actually see that we're going to have little tiny corners left, which is, you know, 
it's no big deal, you can get rid of that easily enough. So it's as simple as that, to write a, um, an area clearance, you know, or surfacing an area, or even making a pocket, it's as easy as that in AtCam Express. Uh, there's no easier program to, to, to do it with. So um, I'll just save that now to a stick and uh, get it into Mag 3 on the other computer and we'll surface this material off. I hope you enjoyed that little video from me today regarding AtCam and I hope you join me for the next segment uh, in this group of videos of machining uh, the hard top of Malamine on the CNC machine. So please subscribe to my channel, press like, a little red box down there that will take you to my YouTube channel where there's probably something there to entertain so, you. Bye for now.